you are absolutely new to ui path and as a developer you need to understand what should be your road map how do you start your learning from where do you start your learning and what are the topics that you should cover one after the other i am going to show you the entire road map for the ui path developer for this come to academy.uipath.com once you are on this page click on learning plans and once you are on the learning plan scroll down and select your preferred language so here i am going to select english once you have selected the preferred language the next is roles so if you expand this particular section there are many roles that you can plan for so this particular video is specifically for the developers for the developers you would be selecting this particular option automation developer so once you have selected automation developer as the role you would see there are couple of plans available here automation explorer automation developer automation developer professional automation developer associate training automation explorer so there are many things okay now out of this what you do select the professional training in the future the version might change right now while i'm recording this video it is 2023.10 the version might change doesn't matter look for the professional training i am going to click on this professional training so out of all this this one is the professional training i am going to click on this now once you click on this there is something called learning plan structure click on learning plan structure now all i am doing i am going to minimize everything if you minimize there are three important areas that you have to study the very first one is automation explorer the version in the future might change automation explorer your first thing to start with then comes automation developer associate training this is your second thing and the third thing is the automation developer professional training the first one you the the r that is mentioned here is 10 r 30 minutes this might slightly change up and down based on the version however this is where you would start next is 32 hours and the third one the professional training is around 40 hours now in the automation explorer expand this and check out all the courses one by one the first one is a pre training survey and the second one is explore automation development with ui path now for this you first log in you need to sign in to academy.uipath.com so that all the progress that you are making will be tracked so signing in is important part now you start with the each one by one so you would start with explore automation development with ui path then you would get into build your first automation process with studio variables constant arguments in studio control flow in studio excel automation with modern experience in studio user interface ui automation with modern design so all of this courses you once you have completed that means you have completed the automation explorer course which is of around 10 hours 30 minutes now as a beginner you can take help of many youtube channels there one is my channel so in this for example you like to start as a beginner so my first recommendation is to go to my home page or Dear friends, search for this particular video ui path tutorial for beginners this one i have made for 2024 edition however most of the concepts and things would remain the same here and there there could be slight changes in the user interface of the studio because of the version otherwise most of your concepts would remain the same 
once you are done with this go to the playlist channel in the playlist if you scroll to the bottom of the playlist okay it will take taking some time to load now there are many 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 playlists that i have created uipath tutorial for beginners build data table move file activity email automation uipath re framework uipath excel automation regular expressions orchestrator storage bucket there are many videos actually there are many videos sample of videos so what do you do go through the courses for example you got doubt around variable constant argument in studio so you can search for videos for example you can search ui path variables and arguments for example okay so there will be ample of videos present um, here you would see okay so i also have one video you have a tutorial example of variables and ui path automate with rakesh so you can take benefit of many such videos available on youtube to clarify your doubts and get some practical examples in case the um, topics that is explained here you need additional help you can take so like that you first complete the automation explorer and once you are done right so there is something uh, automation explorer assessment completed so once you have completed the assessment and scored good score that means you have now good knowledge on the very first area second thing what you do get on to automation developer associate training now this would have little advanced topics for example data manipulation with strings in studio data manipulation with list and dictionaries ui automation synchronization so for all of these topics you can search on youtube and find lot of videos you can directly come to my channel search there so for example if you are on my channel you want to search a particular topic for example i want to search for let's say data manipulation with strings okay so you can come here go to the video use this search option yeah. so uh, the topic is data manipulation with strings okay so i'll simply say for example strings search okay so here you can see you have a tutorial string manipulation with vivi.net playlist i have entire playlist with lot of practical examples lot of videos you can directly see watch and clarify your doubts this is one thing if you still have doubts there is something called forum.uipad.com so there are already like you many people might have already got doubts and they might have already asked questions you can search here in the forum and look for the answers if it is not there you can always post a question and get answer from the community okay so these are the couple of things similar way once you have gone through all of this look at the topics ui automation descriptor in studio selectors in studio debugging in studio okay for example debugging in studio i'll show you uh debugging so i'll use this i'll type debugging and here you can see uh ui path remote debugging uh, this is not the one um uh -huh. yeah debugging steps ui path debugging steps so there would be certain videos you would definitely find on the channel to get help from okay so likewise you complete all the courses pdf automation email automation uh, right for all of this also i have lot of videos for example pdf automation i think there is a playlist i have created long back um let me show you you can document understanding action center uh scroll down excel or say here it is uh ui per tutorial on pdf automations excel automations like that slightly as i said this was created long back so the version the couple of things might slightly change but again your overall concepts would remain uh, uh to my knowledge most of the things would remain conceptually same bit of features properties how it works activities might slightly change but again it will help you to understand how it works then you can easily explore okay so likewise you go object repository in studio version control workflow analyzer rpa testing with studio so for all of these topics i have playlist created just search and see uh, for the playlist okay in case you don't find it there are also other channels on youtube where you can also take help from okay now once you have completed this finally there is a assessment now never forget to give the assessment always give the assessment once you give the assessment you truly know how many things that you know how many things you missed out okay so you can always go back refer correct yourself learn that thing again you can give the assessment in number of times 
okay so you have given the assessment and the final one is the automation developer professional training now this is this is what if you are looking for a job completing these three things are important okay what are the three things the automation explorer automation developer associate training okay and the professional training is also absolutely required because most of your job questions will be from here from the professional training for example are you familiar concepts how would you design a dispatcher bot how do you design a performer bot right so all of this are mentioned here introduction to ari framework building ari framework project building ari framework project with tabular data practice with ari framework orchestrated triggers in monitoring so most of the professional work that we do is you would learn from this though those are foundations that is definitely needed but these are the actual the professional work that you would be doing you will be developing projects so going through this state machine are from very important ones okay very very important all of this that is here are very very important ai computer vision remote debugging invoke method okay for all of this you would see courses playlist in my channel coded automation for testing build automation with solution accelerator automation developer professional training so try to see and take help from all the available resources that i have shown you first is your ac academy you have youtube you have forum and lot many other sources on the internet to learn from okay so this is what the complete guide that you have to follow as a road map to complete your learning as a developer so once you have done this what is next okay once you have done what is next you should appear for the certifications okay for example if i go to certification so here you have something called uipath certified professional automation developer associate okay so here also if you look at automation developer learning plan if i click on the learning plan it will show you those two important ones one is automation explorer developer associate training so once you have completed this two trainings you can also plan to appear for this exam okay similar way once you have completed all the three for example if i click on this learning plan learn a uh, learning plan structure if i minimize everything you see the same two are there and the third one is professional training now for this go to certification and you can also schedule your certification for this one uipath certified professional automation developer professional this is the certification name and this is how your exam description document is there free online practice test is there schedule your exam all these buttons are there you just have to go and follow the instructions to schedule your exam give your exam okay now for example you are planning for certifications you would find on my channel i have created a certification playlist as well uh, let me show you so associate associate exam there is a certification uh, 13 videos that i have created I'm not completed this playlist but again yeah you have few videos there but for professional one uh, you can see i have 99 videos this one okay so new exam ui path certified professional automation so this is what you can complete and you can appear this is a additional help uh, to clarify your conceptual things it will help you this video 99 videos i have created that you can take help from okay so let's say you have done all of this what is next as a developer okay as a as next thing as a developer is nothing but this one ui path certified professional specialized ai associate and then ui path certified professional specialized ai professional so this are the next thing once you got certified as a professional then the ai part comes into picture for sure in 2025 now for this if you want to go with the learning plan you can directly also click here specialized ai associate training and click on the learning plan structure you would get to see see automation developer then you have the same similar topics introduction to ai powered automation explore automation development with ui path build your first automation process studio so many things you must have already covered so this would be a cake walk for you simply you can go through data manipulation and all this okay the important part is starts from here introduction to specialized ai ui path ai center ui part document understanding ui path communication mining so these are the courses that you have to complete one by one so if you click on any of this course it will take you the course and you can start okay so this is the next planning associate training after that specialized ai associate this one and then the next one is 
okay this is done you can schedule your exam okay this is the same same structure you follow next thing is specialized ai professional so here again if you click on this click on learning plan structure and it would have the similar structure uipath ai center specialized ai document understanding specialized ai training um, uipath communication mining uipath ai center so like this you have additional professional areas on with respect to ai so when you complete this entire course then you can go ahead and apply for the certification when you are confident you can go ahead and apply for the certification okay and schedule your exam and give the certification so this is the next next thing next level thing okay after that let's say i have got specialized ai professional certification then you are also planning you have got good experience uh, and then uh, as a developer now you wanted to look for a solution architect role you would like to improve then as a solution architect again there is a plan here okay automation solution architect learning plan so as a developer once you have have some experience then you can become an architect you can't become an architect as a beginner as a beginner you can't you have to spend some time as a developer gain some work experience then you can look for a next promotion or a next role is a solution architect role okay so automation solution architect role again if you click on the learning plan structure you have everything here introduction implementation methodology deep dive meet the components um, uh, of your path platform so as a solution architect you have knowledge on all these various areas because this is all needed as a solution architect okay so these are the topics for you getting it so let's say uh, <clears throat> you know solution architect is considered as the one of the highest role uh, in the development part okay uh, so ai professional solution architect professional so the, your question could be okay i don't do i need to go through ai i would say with 2025 and the ai progress are being happening uh, around the world definitely ai learning plan is a must i would say um with the current development that are happening in the market so having the ai knowledge i would say would become a must uh, as the progresses are happening in 2025 okay so i would say go for it solution architect uh, professional and then there are other areas right uh, people who are coming from a testing background so test automation engineer professional there is a learning plan okay uh, people who are coming from infra background that is again there is a learning plan for them okay like like that there are many other aspects but as a developer these are the important areas one is you prepare the associate planning as i said from here you can start the very first important part for you would be developer associate learning plan you complete plan for the certification second certification is not a must but having the certification uh, would give you that boost and confidence when anybody taking an interview and you say i already acquired this certificate this certificate so definitely it tells to the interview this person knows about the platform quite well and he's certified right so you gain that confidence so having is a you know i would say it is good to have i would say i would recommend you to have the certifications okay not just learning but prove yourself that you really have the knowledge and you have certified so developer associate is the first one developer professional is your second step your third step is uh, mm, uh, specialized ai associate your fourth step is ai professional and once you have experience few years of experience then go with solution architect so that could be your futuristic plan so that's all as a developer this should be your road map and this is how you should start learning let me know in the comment section if you have any additional questions i generally uh, may not get time to reply but i do read and i would come back uh, with certain videos to help you so thank you guys for watching please do like and subscribe to my channel we will meet once again in the next video